Your former life was in a bliss of ignorance, until you've awakened to the darkness waiting on the doorstep of our fragile dimension. Something terrible left its eons old slumber, and the reality, as we knew it, collapsed. The city of Arkham was pulled to somewhere not of this world, and its residents are in the shadows of true terror. As a survivor of this catastrophe, you should investigate the strange occurrences in the city and survive the rising darkness, physically and mentally, if possible. An interesting way to introduce the game. Hey, what's up everybody who's actually watches? My name is Big Mac Bush and welcome to Stygian, Reign of the Old Ones. Now, I don't know what kind of game this is, but it is Cthulhu, from what I could tell. You know it's a good game, it is Cthulhu. We can make new, I'm actually gonna turn the sound down. Where's the sound? Uh, master, put you down to like, Sure, why not? 60, we're doing fine. Now then, there are apparently pre-made characters and create your own. There are a lot of options here. I did run the game to make sure it worked, so I will not be doing this at all. I would normally love to create a character, but we have, we have an hour to play this. Let's look, use a pre-made. Harry Powell. Michael Cheshire, Francis Blackwin, Joe Caldwell, Theodore Mayer, Tom Moretti, Ernest Amundsen, Lucius Vile, Helen Betty Fairbanks, Elizabeth Karelius, Maria Sanchez, Margaret Copernicus, Ruth Atherton, Dorothy Amundsen and Mildred Gardner. I'm just gonna stick to Harry Powell because I don't know what kind of game this is. We're only playing it for like an hour anyway, so let's see what it's like. Venturing to Attic. Do not forget to use the radio menu by right clicking. It allows you to see all the possible interactions the world item or actor offers. Objects that trigger uh, the cursor may to be lit may hold interest for you. This is taking quite a while to load. Alright, let's see what this game's like. Oh, a year has passed into your encounter with a peculiar fellow, known as the Dismal Man, when the last human here struck you. Find me beyond Arkham, after the Black Day. At the time, those words did not mean much to you, but soon after, you would come to understand. On what is now known as the Black Day, under the shadow of the Awakened, the world you knew vanished, and with it your hopes, future, and loved ones. For reasons unknown, the, the city of Arca was separated from the carcass of Earth, and exiled to another place under alien stars, a twilight realm between dimensions. Unlike many others, you survived, body and mind mostly intact. Ever since you have existed from day to day in the gray gloom of the old eel house, waiting for the enigmatic man to call. A man whose very existence you are now beginning to question. Until you awaken to another lair of the nightmare. Until the visit at the attic. Honestly, the sound is phenomenal, the way they use it. Oh. Hello there. Camera thought left me because it means it's a cutscene. Journal update. The footsteps of the dismal man. Oh, this is... This is a thing. Two lamps in darkness. Can I... Okay. 
Oh, 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 oh god, okay. Character. Archetype soldier, middle-aged middle-aged male, believes in, in the divine. Captain, uh, back, yeah, my background is a captain. I'm healthy, I'm sane. My stats are mainly physique and agility. I'm good with firearms, melee, and survival. My inventory. Oh, 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 this is, this is a game. This is a game. Oh, shit. I was like, I was not expecting this. Uh, right click? No, container. It's locked. I was hoping it would change. You said right click, but I guess that's not the thing you do now. Let's go downstairs. It's two that go outside about light. Uh... Oh. Oh, okay. Learn how to make a Molotov cocktail. Why not? Study. I know. I know how to make Molotovs. Empty kerosene and kerosene canister. Let's head downstairs. This is a trip. Is there anything to pick up? I'm assuming by the lack of clickables, I'm assuming there's nothing to pick up, or... He just wants me to move forward, okay. If I double click, do I run? God, I hate the planes when it's this late. Oh, walk down the street. Apparently, I can't run, sadly. Or do I have to hold? No, I just walk. Oh. Uh. Okay. Peculiar. Send it. Oh. At the gates of Misk Miskatonic? First F1 learned. Oh, now you tell me this game. F1. Okay, what do you got for me? Keyboard shortcuts. The character. Grimoire. Inventory. The journal. The map. Stealth. Highlight world objects. Oh, you could do that. Quick save, quick load. Double click to all equip. Shift click to drop, control click to quick consume. Right click on option. Radio menu. Combat help. Oh my god, what the fucking game is this? Uh, can I not close this? I'm gonna hit F1 again, right? Use. Oh, I have a lot of shit in my pockets. Uh, That's correct. Oh. Oh, right. Inventory. A few cigs, camping supplies, military identity tag, clean water, honey vest. Bootleg whiskey. 
clearly everyone's favorite. Trench knife, rations, bandages, blanket notebook, and laudanum set. Shot. Wait, alt? Okay. These decayed fragments of furniture betray the craftsmanship of talented car carpenters. How heartbreaking to see the fine work reduced to a pile of scrap. Oh, that, that lingered for a while. And the gas between the encroaching vein roots, the, this grimy window offers a glimpse of the dark, dismal street below. This is going to be a trip. Is there even anyone else here, or is it just me? Never mind, hello. The brothers are served by a primitive table, still reek of stale alcohol, and a damp woody stench that makes her nose itch. You see Marino, the manager and bartender at the Old Eel. He's been your host for almost a year now. Ch char charging in exchange. Wait, is that? Yeah. Charging in exchange to the last of your precious resources. He has a tendency to suck you dry whenever he gets the opportunity. Go morning, Cornuto. If you could call this never ending fucking Twilight morning. What was that all? What was that all the herd of bird upstairs? Bad dreams? Can you separate dreams from realities anymore? Oh, I see. Cornudo's in quite a, f a philosopher. I found my own views simpler and more effective. Whether this is a dream or reality or fucking infernal, the question is, can you die? If you can kick the bucket, which is definitely still the case, my friend, I guess this is real enough, but you want to give it a shot, I can spare you a pistol. Since you're awake, let's talk about the cigs you owe me. You were too drunk to pay yesterday and told me to remind you later, remember? Really? They drink that much? How so? Oh, yeah. This chick's getting old, Marino. I'm sure you did. Don't you trust your old, your, your giving host, Cor Cornudo? Well, where would you be now if I had accommodated you? <laughs> you have all my six soon. Why the hurry? I can't argue, I can't argue with that. Consider this one on the house. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Thank you for your generosity. Oh, please spare me the sharp wit. Later, Cornudo. Why do you call me Cornuto? Ah, uh, forget about it. You remind me of a guy. He was a Cornudo. That's it. What is it? Cornudo is... He raises two curled fingers to his forehead. Someone who has horns. You know, if a wife is unfaithful to the husband, that makes the husband Cornudo, alright? What's that to do with me? When I was the bartender of Isola, a small Italian bar in Chicago, a man used to come in every morning, every evening, every single day. He didn't drink, he didn't have any fun, but he just kept looking at the, at the patron silently, looking for someone. Then after almost a year, I finally learned the story. He was searching for the man who fucked his wife. He came to the bar every day, staring silently. You're like him. You're waiting for someone too. You don't pursue whatever fucked up life you can have in your this shitty town. You say you act like that Cornuto. Forgive me if I put it bluntly, but who fucked you over, my friend? I'm waiting for someone, someone. that is true, but it's not that simple. Like I care. Alright, later. Oh, I can talk to you. You see an eccentric middle-aged man completely focused on the darts game and he alone is playing. Exaltation? All that but radiates from this old, old fellow. If you care for a game of cr cricket, you don't get a chance to play against the w world champion every day. Passes several of his darts to you. World champion? Of course! Surprise! You have any clue, clue? You have any clue what happened to the rest of the world? Knock knock, anybody there? No one? Eh, good riddance. Throws dart. Earth was a big pain in the butt, but anyway. Here there's only one champion. 
Herschel, the master of darts. That's not a door. Dart the board. This makes the world darts champion. Ready for the game? Any prize? Prize? Nothing can come come close to the throw darts. Tobacco? Rubbish! But feeling the texture of the stem in your hand, the steel point savagely penetrating the board, it's priceless. And the prize? You want cigarettes? Beat me then. Beat the world champion and you'll have more cigarettes than you ever want. You see, I was a traveling salesman for Tom Rogers cigarettes. Before I found my true self, I became a champion. Then, those days. Herschel, go to, go to Maine. Go to Boston. Herschel, Herschel, your sales performance is getting lower. We're disappointed. In the game? Now you're talking. Because that's how you the rules of the game. We're out too much enthusiasm. Sure. Let's test it out. Agility check, I guess. Hey, I won. <laughs> nice. Herschel looks as if he's been shut from all purpose. Glancing at his expressionless eyes, you feel like he gets right into the abyss. He starts to talk slowly. Cheater. Give me my cigs. With each repetition, his speech starts to sound less and less rational until it turns into a frenzied howl. World Dart Champion. Ow! Did I actually get hurt from that? I did, I took the actual damage. I took the cigarettes in, I guess. Tom Roger cigarettes, inventory. A lot of cigs. All right, let's head out. Immediately, first chance I got, I did an agility check. So what am I doing? What's my task? Ah, so it is over here. Moving on back to where we just were. So, what exactly is the end game except from finding the dismal man? Oh, there's a lot you could do. Let's check this out. We were just here last, in anyhow. The key number. Oh. This happened again. The lurker below. Crack open the ground, it will. That was a close one. Pick up the key. A key number zero. That's where we just... That's where we saw the dismal man. I swear... Oh, it's because the auto-saving. Oh, can I turn it off? I kind of wreck turn it off if I can. I can't? Well, that's a shame. We can't do anything about that then, I guess. I'll uh, bring in the journal. I found a peculiar key at the entrance to the Rude University marked with the number zero. Perhaps you can find someone to tell me what unlocks. You see a typical Arkham resident, tired, decrepit looking. She looks at you uneasily. What key told me about this key? Do I like a locksmith or something? I haven't got the slightest idea. Maybe nutty old Isidore could help you. He runs the antique store. He has the thing for keys, or so I've heard. Where is this? It's called Schmidt's Antiques, and it's located in French Hill near the clubhouse. It's an old wooden building. Hard to miss. It's all kinds of strange objects in this way. Oh, thank you for your information. Where is this French mill? So I have to go all the way to the right side. This is kind of interesting, actually. It feels more akin to a point-and-click style game, though. Okay, so you can't enter stealth. Just hit S and you can do it. Okay.
What is this? The tower depiction I want the elder gods purchase atop the naked base of a shattered statue. Is this the correct? S well, I'm gonna assume this is correct. I will build dark skin man is approaching you. You doubt he's from these parts. He seems unaffected by the Arkham's nightmarish conditions, and there's something in inviting, almost provocative, in his thin smile. Hola, senor. Please forgive me. Please forgive my. He tries to find the right words. Interruption. But I've been seeing you at the old year. I wanted to present the present town. Who are you? I am called Eduardo. Eduardo Carnella, to be exact. But the Car Carnella, yeah. But there's nothing special about my by uh, Apolito. I was just the son of another poor fisherman from from Kohima. Yet I carried the Carnella name to this far part of the world. Now all that remains is our past, no? So what do you want? I have a sensation that you may need my services. Different from you, I am accustomed to this. This survival in the streets. The never-ending sur... Sobre vivente. I survived the Spaniards, then American occupation, then the Civil War, then the American again. No hard feelings, though. But you see my point now. I know what to do when things get, what do you say, hot. I can be the difference between life and death. Dip and, and, and between life and Santa Marta. So, what do you want? Two dozen things from each type of protector. I don't care if you're fighting monsters or the mob or El Diablo himself. You got no fear, do ya? Why would I? I survived by chance all my life, and now I just do the same. We all do. But you were not aware of this before, whatever that is. A swordfish killed me, me Padre. One day he, one day he go out to work. He never came home. SOS. I think, like that. You see, we live by chance alone, and if, but it is when we are out of luck that becomes a pain. I will play the game, Senor, and until Las Diosa Fortuna portrays me. Sure, you're in. Bueno, lead the way, Senor Eduardo Carnella. Your angel protector is by your side. I don't know how long a day is in this game, but we'll take it as it is. Self, grimoire, inventory, characters, journal. Oh, mob. I see. It doesn't matter where you are. Always gotta be someone. Let's check out the old vehicle. Yeah, it's locked. Fantastic. Let's go talk to the dude. Uh, I dick. I clicked them. The beautiful mansion somehow still, somehow remains un unscathed and is obviously still occupied. Though the relatives' memories begin to assault them most aggressively. Is this the place? Uh, where? Are we? We're at the French Hill. Is it this house? Ah, I thought it was gonna be something we could pick off of him. Oh well. Door is tightly locked, which is a dusty button alongside adjacent to a rectangular panel, similar to a speaker. Ring it. A voice sizzle from the speaker. What do you? What do you want? I come in. No. That sucks. Who are you? You ring my bell and I'm supposed to say who tell you who I am? Go away, I think so do. What building are we looking for? Oh, Schmidt's Emporium. Whoops, I didn't antiques, I didn't see that. 
I didn't see because of the cutscene. It threw me off guard. How hard is this game? An alt. Just a book. Hello. An old man sitting behind a dusty counter, surrounded by a variety of odd objects. He does look very pleased to see you. Yes? Are you looking for something in particular? Do you know anything about this key? See a flash of green in the old man's eyes. He hastily sticks some notes to a peculiar notebook in the corner. Is it numbered zero? Oh, how interesting. Where'd you get such a rare one? Found it on the street. Such luck! What can I offer you for you for that key, my friend? Um, key number zero will be a very fine addition to my collection here. It's not for sale. 500 cigs. How about now? Tell me about it first, and I'll think and I'll consider it. Forgive me, but I don't trust people trust people easily. This particular habit also also helped me tremendously in staying alive. Alright, no. I'm not selling it. I need the key. I can pay for inf information. Not very tempting. The old man pauses for a while and then continues. But if you also give me your word to bring the key after you're done with it, then we can look into a deal. Sure, we could do that. Fifty cigs in your word to bring me in, in your word to bring me the key. De is it a deal? Sure. I hope you also respect the other part of the deal. I'll be waiting for the key. Not for my part. The key is for the safe deposit boxes in the Bank of Arkham. I wasn't aware that it existed in the one labeled zero, though. Where is this? It's located in the main street to the northwest of here, but I doubt there's much to discover there. It's in ruins now. It's like the whole monetary system. As you see, we buy things with six now, much like destitute prisoners. We are indeed in the prison, but thank you anyway. Let's go. Auto save. All right, for those who have been who are concerned, um, I actually recently beat the Evil Within. I have been wanting to do that. What? Ah, I see. The angry mob before you is about to lynch a wretched creature you can hardly describe as human. The creature's face and hands are warped and t in tattered rags. It seems this outside has been chosen to be as a scapegoat for everything these people are suffering in the wake of the Black Day. I don't know, there's like six people there. I'm not gonna do anything. It may be a dick move, but I'll just... I'll assume I did the correct move. Because I don't know what would have happened if I tried to fight. Now, oh. I have an offer for you. Who are you? A pasty amount of nourishment leaves up from the, within the shadows. His swollen, weary eyes are riveted on you. The scruffiness of his otherwise fine apparel corresponds with his restless antics. His rolling vigilant eyes quickly scan premises and when he finally feels secure, he addresses you in a timid but needy fashion. I'm sorry for a start, you sir. I'm Cornelius Moretti. Okay. I, um, have a proposal from which we can both benefit. Pardon my roughness, but it will only take a minute of your time. Sure. Tell me what you want. Plainly in distress, he is gazing askance at a brawler's near the bar. Excuse me. Oh, there we go. 
I had seen you go to up to the old EO attic before I got rejected by the ig ignoble swab. You might be just a man who could help me. What do you... What is it you want? He grinds his teeth and chagrin before continuing. It was just another miserable day at the joint where, where I, partly encouraged by the devil's the juice, no doubt, finally spoke of what had been on my mind for a long time. I called him out. That tyrannical devil seed called Waxface. And to announce him as the false shepherd he really is. Nobody said a thing, of course. Cowards. I really, there was, there was, is, and ever will be one shepherd of men. For saying that, they expelled me, humiliated me, and worst of all, marked me. Twitchingly lowers his voice. That's my death sentence. You understand? Marked? Here you speak the word of a surge of misgiving, uh, misgivings. Dark as his, his visage. It's not the time, nor the place, and besides, you're better not knowing what it is. Alright, what do you want? Well, sir, all I'm asking is you help you retrieve my heirloom pocket watch from the old eel attic. It, it's a valuable piece from, from my late father. I stashed it there, having an inkling that I might need it in the dark days ahead. It's hidden under the floorboard next to the mattress. I need it now more than ever, for I'm left with nothing else. Once I borrow it all, we'll, have, we'll split the six halfway, pl please. Will you do this for me? I mean, sure, why not? If it's worth the trouble, I'll do it. I show my mirth with tears in his eyes. Oh, thank you, brother. Thank you. I assure you it will be lucrative for both of us. Where do I find you? He casts one final fretful glance at his surroundings. I'll be near the desecrated church in French Hill. I'll be safe there. It's abandoned now. Now I must go before they come for me. Please hurry, sir. My life depends on it. Sure. I'll go do that now then, I guess. Since apparently you are waiting for me. None of you are important. I'm moving on. You have to be able... I have to pay the owner first. I need rest in the attic. Wait, that what's occupied? I can't. Okay, I I can't save. I can't go to the attic then. Shit! I actually want to see what was going up. Like what was going on with that? I was, I was hoping to click and drag, and I realized that you can't do that. Where are we going again? We're going to the bank? Hotel. The Arkham Post Office. Uh, oh, there's the bank. Oh. Are we allowed in? Cutscene. Fucking loony. I'll equip my gun. Help yourself. Get in there and die. Oh, okay then. So we're looking for a box labeled zero. Bank entrance hall. Is this actually Arkham map? Downtown map. Okay, this is what we got. Water dollars and lock picks. Okay. No, um, use hood armor vehicle was nope. It when the driver smashed through the wall. It looks like some of our people are in the process. Okay. 
Vehicle's locked. Okay, so I guess we need to find a key for it then. You just investigate piles. Screws and a few cigs, sure. Let's see what we can find while we're here. This is kind of an interesting game. It's a bit slow, but it's probably expected from something like this, honestly. Bank managers know. Let's read this. Oh, cool. This is so hard to read. I never been a man who puts any stock in superstition, yet any experience. I cannot read any of these fucking. This is hard to look at. Give me a moment. I shook in my own strict convictions. I had an unannounced visitor. He was a tall man dressed in a finely cut suit and top coat. Uh, and impactable black and his face. Well, pretty as it is. It's peculiar as it may sound. I don't remember the damn thing about about it. Not his age, the look in his eye, or the color of, of his hair. When I try to recall the details, it gets my my mind goes completely blank. Oh, <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Let me actually read this proper. I never been a man puts my stock in superstition. Yet my experience today has shaken my very my once strict convictions. I had an unannounced visitor. He was a tall man, dressed in a finely cut suit and top coat, all of an impenetrable black. In his face, well, peculiar as this may sound, I don't remember a damn thing about it. Not his age, the look in his eyes, or the color of his hair. When I try to recall these details, my mind goes completely blank. So you can't read these notes. I'm just stupid. Damn, dude. Window. Okay, the ambience is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie to you. Take everything. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. Go to the other room. Oh man, shit. I'm starting to fade right now. Oh fuck, I'm tired. But I gotta do the video. I gotta keep going. A wrench and a shot. Hello. A strangely presentable man in a sharpshooter waits eagerly at one to destroy cash counters. The moment he sees it, he begins to speak rapidly and enthusiastically. Hello, sir. How may I assist you? As you can see, this has been a very busy day. It looks like the, the boom has finally come to Arkham. It's nice to see a little town driver, don't you think? Sure is. Of course you agree, sir. We all share the same dream in this country. After all, uh, as, a, as a proud citizen, his voice cuts out abruptly and he breathes this place. This is in blank. He almost like a living statue. Oh, excuse me? Some men are endowed by the creator and with certain alienable rights. How about transaction, sir? May I see a credential, please? Show my military tags. You instantly grab the object from your hand. Let me see. It says you're you're an instrument of unwarranted oblivion. Hey, dog, man, sir. I hope the age of the game of misery, piss, and shit. I don't know what's going on here. Oh. This is a fight. Ooh. Interesting screen. Combat basics. It's been 30 minutes. I mean, almost 40 minutes, and now we're getting to a fight. Combat and staging consists of turns. Each turn, your character characters and the enemies move and act as their own rounds to an extent that their action points allow. Each action requires a certain amount of action points to be committed. From the upper corner of the screen, you can monitor the health, sanity levels, and switch between the equipped weapons and your active character. You can also reload or equip a firearm by simply clicking on the weapon's icon. You wish to use a quick item to perform a combat ability or cast a spell. Simply right-click on the active character and choose the detailed the related action. Oh, this is such a... Wait. Can I... Okay, awkward. 
Certain hexes on the battlefield may have special functions that, such as providing an opportunity to take cover or enabling you to flee from the battle. Right click on the object that may provide cover while standing next to it in order for you to take cover. <laughs> take cover for buttons. Press the escape on the lower right edge of the screen while standing in on a purple hex or flee to, to flee from battle. You can end your character's round by either clicking on the defend or focus buttons. Defend, the defending button allows you to enables you to utilize or remaining action points to increase the physical defense of the active character. Focus, the focus button allows you to utilize the remaining action points to get a bonus to the character's next attack roll. The bonus will get higher in accordance with the number of action points allocated to these procedures. Uh, okay, move here. Cover. No AP, so I can't fire my gun, so I'll just, um, how do I end turn again? Focus. You got grace for one damage. Dude. Freaking out over there. Damn, he does not get hit, does he? Can't access his inventory because I don't think he has anything on him. Normal hit probability. A miss. Braised, one damage. At the start of each new turn, the order of initial gets determined anew by the reaction score of the combatants. You can see who acts when from the initiative wheel, which is located at the top right side of the comment screen. I go first. Shoot him. Again. Nice! Crit! <laughs> Looting corpses in combat. You can loot fall enemies by right clicking on the corpses and selecting the related icon. So I actually have to go to their bodies to loot? Back attack. Free damage. Loot. So you do have to manually loot. Turn around. Get a rock. And another rock. Man, luckily he's in front because he's taking all the hits now. She goes first, and she's gonna throw two rocks. Whoop here, shoot him. Progression escape. Stygia is not about winning, but enduring. You won't be able to win all the battles that you find yourself in. After damaging the enemy to a certain extent, the blue the blue color progression escape hexes will appear on the battlefield. You can reach one of these hexes with your active character and click on the escape button that is located on the lower right of your screen. You can make a progression escape. Once the player character manages to leave combat this way, the progression escape is considered successful, guaranteeing you a safe passage from the dangerous battle. Well, worry with the same amount of XP as is in a victory. So that's the thing. Defend. Just close enough to get hit. 
Well, I guess we gotta get the hell out of here. Let's go! She goes first. Ow. Just shoot him. Crit! Oh, he's dead. Defend. Let's get the hell out of here. Nice. The party successfully executed a progressive escape. 12 angst, 12 experience. Let's move on. That was our first fight in this game. And he's gone. So we to the next room. That's what we can find. Yeah, I can't do stealth, right? Nope, they saw us. Probably because I tried to look through a container. Well, we gotta do this now. Oh, there's six of them. Oh, they're attacking each other? You could go here actually. Take cover. Not enough AP so you can defend. I think it's better if you try not to get yourself killed. Yeah, he's hitting the others at this point. Crane, he's killed another one. Go here, take cover. Fire. A graze. Uh, defend. It's really weird seeing them fight each other. You don't really see that. Good. They don't do anything. We lose more sanity. We attack us. You grazed that point blank. Oh no. Twice? For fuck's sake, why is my RNG so goddamn horrible? Focus. Graze. Oh my god, are you serious? This is why I hate RNG, dude. Every time. It's always the same shit. It never connects. It's how any game works for me. Critical failure. He missed so bad he hit himself. Good, they're the one that's moving. Graze. Good. We're slowly losing our sanity. And this guy is getting a lot of damage taken. A low hit probability. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Hit. Kill. <laughs> it grazed him and he still died. Oh cool, I go last. You guys are hitting each other. Well he is at least. Well she's dead, you can also can't do anything. We also haven't looked at the bodies yet. Is 
Go over here. Loot. I gotta remember to do this whenever I do anything. Apparently, even looting takes up takes up um, the space or EP. Miss. Who would have thought I would miss? They go first. Three rocks? Really? Alright. Loot the body. Nothing. Two six. Not bad. All right, end your turn. Let's get out of here. We're kind of getting our asses handed to us. Let's be perfectly honest here. No point in being stealthy. Some savings? Nice. No, game, can you actually search the damn thing? Ooh, nice. Some good cigs. I'm a save. Note. I right click, read. But stranger still, I swear by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that he knew about Frederick. He knew of my only son, about his incurable disease, and not just the fact of it, but every symptom, every maddening detail. He claimed to have certain powers that he, he could cure my boy. All he asked in return was that I saw on his behalf a safe marker to number zero. It'll be our little secret. Is it this safe? Oh, I have a mental condition. Oh, fuck. Each mental condition has both a negative and a positive effect. You'll see some, uh, th some of your dialogue will occasionally be overrun by voices of, of my madness lines. There's no cure to madness in Stygian. So I, I'm now I'm infected with mania. Yeah, the characters with mania condition have increased energy, but are more likely to do self control. Oh, fuck! Really? We do lose a lot of sanity in that fight. Save lock. Back away. Use. Like, can I not use anything in my inventory? It says I have to. It says he installed a lock. But there's no lock nearby. He can't spaghetti. Nice. There's an there's a open safe. So there's a safe somewhere that has the number zero on it. Or is it... Do we have the key? Yeah, we can't use it. Let's see if we can find the safe that we're looking for. I... I meant to right click to look at. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, we're at the very- oh, we're fucking last. Oh my god. Of course we're at the very end of the, of the loop. Alright, let's see what we can do. Normal 
chance. Can you kill him? Nice. Move here. I can't get behind Cobra because there's no way for me to get there. Normal chance. Graze, because apparently you can't aim for shit. It's not even close to dying. Alright, focus. Sanity. Grace. Good, I've been graced twice. No damage. Can't get to me. And I can't really. I can't I can go past them. So go over here. See if we can. Good, we got one of them. They're yelling again. It's just like, um... Darkest Dungeon, how... The enemies that, that can reduce your sanity will always reduce your sanity. Fire. Good. It's too dead. Crit. Nice. Two crits in a row. Yo, you just killed your own teammate. Hell yeah. He only did that. Weird. Grace. Kill. You grazed him twice. Yeah, I'm sure you've been in multiple wars if you apparently can't aim for I lose three AP for that. Ugh. Alright, I can't do much. I I can't even shoot him. <sighs> Fucking RNG, sure. Can you kill him? Shoot him again. Thank you. You actually killed him. Miss. Good. Last bull in the gun. Oh, right, right, right. I got... Forget everything up. There we go. Pardon, no, uh, yeah. Pardon, senor. But we all need to eat, no? I did my duty as your, as your protector de Angers for personnel. I wish I could stay in your in your set uh, I mean, stop, but life is no fairy tale. You wish me to stay, you pay, yes? Sure. Smiles and bows before taking a small bone from your hands. Good on you, senor. I will be at your side till the deals of, uh, deals of for, fortuna portrays me. He playfully adds, Order to tell you you're not tobacco. Let's go. What's this? Okay, cool. Is this. No. Rash consumed. I just ate. Okay. Uh... Reckless option indicates a point of interest or a potential skill use. Just to... so I can't use any of the, any of these saves. So this isn't the correct spot. Manuscript. I guess I just read. Um, read the material. Oh, I can't. Okay, never mind. Apparently, I can't read it. Well, let's head back. 
And we're at an hour, so... Wait for the room to load. Save. It quit? What does this do? Oh, it's right. It hits. It's quit. It's just gonna leave the game. Okay, this wasn't loaded up a moment ago. There we go. Alright, that was the gameplay portion of the first hour. If you're unfamiliar with how the first hour works, here's how it goes. If you're for some reason seeing this for the first video on my channel, which is shocking, but whatever. Um, after we do the gameplay section of the first hour, we go to the fortune cookie portion where I I go to my fortune cookie on backlogery.com. Links in the description below. And where I will rule run one random game that I have never played before, supposedly, for the first for next week's first hour. I will be playing games for my Steam, my Origin, my Epic Games Launcher. I can't play anything else because you play is basically nothing new there, so or nothing that haven't played yet. PC downloads are games I can't touch for YouTube, so <clears throat> keep that in mind as, as you look at my games. Anything else below this is console, and I don't have any capture cards to capture anything. As like as mentioned earlier, I will be playing games I never played before. I will be playing games that I owning that I own, or games I'm renting from and borrowing from my friend Zenkai on Steam via family sharing. And as per usual, just below Masters, there's a little bit of text, and below that is Open That Cookie. Let's see what we get next week for the first hour. Viscera cleanup detail, Shadow Warrior. I heard of this game before. Four, I never played it. But this is what we're going to be doing next week for the first hour. Actually, allow me to correct that. There will be no videos going up next week. I, I am super low on time. I don't have enough time to record or edit most of my videos right now. So, um, let's see. What is today? This is being recorded like 12.48 past midnight. How, like this video goes up like and like and, like today you're gonna be seeing this the same day it gets recorded essentially but um once I come back after next week after I take my re my break we will be playing Viscera Claim Detail for the first hour I'll see you guys then if you guys feel like I'm making anything else that I do and if you for some reason enjoy it you're clearly insane and I'll see you guys around if you feel like come back for anything else like, like I do like I just said very redundant. I'll see you around later.